In this video, we're going to determine the location where the force of gravity of the sun on a spacecraft would have the same magnitude, same size, as the force of gravity on the Earth, from the Earth on the spacecraft. So I'm going to do a couple of uh, drawings here and see what we can come up with for reasoning on this. This drawing is not to scale, but uh, between the Sun and the Earth, we have one astronomical unit, and then the point is close to the Earth where the two forces balance. That's reasonable but because the Sun is tremendously more massive than the Earth. So I put that little dot near the Earth, and X is the distance from the dot, the spacecraft, to the center of the Earth. 1 minus X, 1 AU minus X, is going to be the distance from the spacecraft to the sun. And I am going to use the unit, the 1 AU, as the distance unit to simplify powers of 10 in the calculation. If you want to put in the number of meters for an astronomical unit, you're welcome to do that. Uh, but we have the situation here, the force due to gravity is the gravitational, universal gravitational constant, capital G. Multiply the two masses together, divide by the distance squared. So for the case of the sun, on the spacecraft, capital G, mass of the sun, mass of the spacecraft, and the distance from the center of the sun to the center of the spacecraft is 1 minus x squared. Again, this 1 here is an astronomical unit. We're going to solve for x, and we're going to come up with a number in terms of an astronomical unit. This x is not in meters. This is 1 AU. I should even uh, kind of scribble that in here. This is 1 AU. So x will not have units of meters. I'll convert it later, but it'll have uh, units of astronomical units. Over on the right side, the force of gravity due to the Earth on the spacecraft, capital G, mass of the Earth, mass of the spacecraft, and x squared. You can see right away that we can cancel off capital G on both sides, and we can capsule, cancel mass of the spacecraft on both sides. So those are those are not important. Let's put in our numbers here. The mass of the sun, 1.9885 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. Uh, you can look that up at the, do a Google search, NASA sun mass, and you'll get a reference there from NASA on the mass of the sun. Uh, same thing for the Earth, 5.9724 times 10 to the 24th. So we have 1 over x squared on the left and just over x squared on the right. I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared. I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 minus x quantity squared and come up with the uh, following uh, arrangement here. So the mass of the sun now times the x squared. And notice I've also divided both sides by 10 to the 24th. Uh, so this was 10 to the 30th power. I'm dividing both sides by 10 to the 24th to simplify the numbers. That leaves with 10 to the 6 here. 10 to the 30th divided by 10 to the 24th. We subtract the exponents when we divide. And those powers of 10, so I have 10 to the 6 and times the x squared. On the right side, the 10 to the 24th has been canceled off uh, because I divided both sides by 10 to the 24th. So we have this number, and now I'm multiplying both sides by 1 minus x quantity squared. So it cancels on the left. I have it here, and I've gone ahead and expanded 1 minus x times 1 minus x. And you should try this on your own. We get 1 minus 2x plus x squared. Then continuing, simplifying by distributing through the bracket, multiplying every term in the bracket by 5.9724 obtain those numbers. Again, pause the video if I'm going too fast and uh, uh, verify my uh, algebra steps here. Okay. Who knows, I might make a mistake. Gather together like terms. Uh, I prefer to have a positive uh, coefficient for the x squared term in a quadratic equation. That's what we're dealing with here. I'm keeping lots of extra digits, probably too many, but I prefer not to round off until the end of a problem. That's just my style. If your instructor prefers something different, follow your instructor's method. Um, and then the uh, middle term with the x to the first power and then our constant. So how do we solve a quadratic equation? Well, you may have a calculator that automatically will do it for you, but if you do it the long way, 
uh, the quadratic formula, x has a value of minus b, b is the coefficient in front of x to the first power, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. a is the coefficient in front of the x squared, and c is the constant. And then evaluate the top, divide by 2a. So putting in the numbers, and again, you'll want to pause the video and do your own calculation here. Um, so there's a minus sign in the formula for the quadratic formula, so that produces a minus 11.9448 for the minus b. And then squaring this, not going to matter if b is positive or negative when this is squared, minus 4ac. This is important here that you preserve the minus sign on the c, on this constant. This is, um, if I want to write it a different way, plus a negative... 5.9724. The C constant is a negative number, and that's crucial that you carry along that negative sign here. So evaluate in here, then take a square root, and what you'll find is we've got this minus B value, minus 11.9448, plus or minus. After I take the square root, I get 6.8923 times 10 to the third. So then we have still have to complete the calculation, but our quadratic uh, formula produces two solutions. One time we'll use this plus sign to do the calculation, and the other the minus sign. Um, what sign should we use? Should we use the plus sign or the minus sign? Well, I'd call your attention back here to this uh, calculation of the distance from the sun to the spacecraft. It's 1 minus x. If x is a positive number, then this is going to be smaller than 1 AU. That matches where I have in the, in the drawing here, in the diagram. If x is a negative number, then a negative times a negative will end up with a positive, and this would be calculating a position on the far side of the Earth. There is another position here where the size of the force of gravity due to the sun due to the Earth are the same, but it's not the correct one. We need to use an x that's positive, so we end up with a distance from the sun to the spacecraft that's smaller than one astronomical unit. So that's why I say x should be positive. So I'm only going to do the calculation with the positive, and I came up 1.73005 times 10 to the minus third astronomical units. It's time now to convert this uh, into meters. So here is the value of one astronomical unit, 1.495979 times 10 to the 11th, again using too many digits. Um, the AUs cancel, and we get this many meters, uh, 2.588 times 10 to the 8th meters, 258.8 million meters from the Earth. I would just point out uh, you know, it's something to compare that to. Uh, from the Moon to the Earth, it's 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters. And that's larger than the value of x. That's an interesting uh, result. There's another video that I've produced here called uh, Does the Moon Orbit the Sun or Orbit the Earth? that discusses this uh, fact just a little bit. But notice this value of x is closer in than the position of the moon, average distance of the moon. This does not mean that the moon uh, is going to fly away from the Earth. Um, but it is true that the force of gravity of the sun on the moon is stronger than the force of gravity of the earth on the moon. I'll say that again. The force of gravity of the sun on the moon is stronger than the force of gravity of the earth on the moon. And I'm only doing a simple calculation with no motion involved and no uh, consideration of, of orbits. Um, if you want some... Uh, I'm getting far afield here. Let's calculate. Let's compare this x to something else. The radius of the Earth. Uh, the Earth's radius is a ten to the sixth number. Here we have a ten to the eighth, and this position is outside of the radius of the Earth. It's forty point six times the radius of the Earth is where the uh, balance location is uh, is uh, is present. Again, this is a simple non-dynamical calculation. We just have the on fixed on a straight line, not considering any orbital motion and stability of the spacecraft around the Earth, what have you. 
Um, I'm just looking for a simple calculation. Where does the force of gravity from the sun on the spacecraft have the same size as the force of gravity of the Earth on the spacecraft? And we find that uh, value is uh, 2.588 times 10 to the eighth meters from the center of the Earth. If you want to watch some other uh, videos in physics and astronomy, these two websites uh, are free, no registration. You'll find a list of uh, the video titles, short description of the videos, and a direct link on, this, on these websites from uh, that description to the YouTube video. And if you enjoy these uh, YouTube videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free.